I'm Mitya Blasic uh, from Legebitra, an NGO in Slovenia. I am a human rights LGBT activist, uh, HIV AIDS activist. I'm also a national leader for human rights in the COMPASS program of the Council of Europe. Well, uh, we have recently made uh, a survey, uh, a research on uh, LGBT uh, human rights in Slovenia um, in a project that was uh, financed by the Roy Grants. Uh, actually, we sc uh, scrutinized uh, the whole corpus of the Slovenian law and we discovered that actually 70 laws exist in which uh, LGBT persons in Slovenia are uh, discriminated. So we're working on erasing uh, this discrimination from the Slovenian system of law. Um, we also have a, a survey that is made from an institution, uh, the Faculty of Social Science, and they make this survey uh, from the 90s, I think, in which they measure the social distance uh, between different minorities and the uh, main population in Slovenia uh, by asking persons um, who they don't want to have for neighbor. And uh, around 30% uh, of people don't want to have a, a gay or a lesbian or a bisexual or a trans person, uh, actually it's called homosexual, uh, for a neighbor. So uh, on one hand we see that the state is clearly uh, discriminating LGBT persons and on the other hand we also see that the society is quite uh, homophobic. In 2011, um, there was a law uh, that uh, passed, it was uh, in the parliament and uh, it was called, uh, called uh, Family Code, but uh, the Catholic Church and the organizations, uh, NGOs established by the church, decided that they will bring this law in front of the referendum. And in 2012, we had a referendum about the family code. The family code actually introduced uh, almost uh, uh, the equality of LGBT couples and families, except uh, second parent adoption. Uh, the law passed in the parliament, we had the referendum after that, and we lost the referendum. 45% uh, uh, were uh, for the law and 55% were against the law. And these 45% for me are, um, uh, um, could be considered uh, a progress uh, because 45% uh, of citizens who voted decided that discrimination of LGBT persons is unacceptable in Slovenia. In uh, 2015, actually this year in March, uh, another law passed. It was a correction of the, um, uh, of the family law from the 77. Uh, and this correction introduced a complete equality, including uh, the uh, second parent adoption. But uh, again, the Catholic Church and the NGOs around you know, the Catholic Church and established by the Catholic Church, again, they are calling for a national referendum. Uh, so now we are waiting for the um, uh, Constitutional Court decision uh, if uh, this referendum is constitutional or unconstitutional because uh, this would be a referendum uh, about human rights. Uh, from, uh, in 2000, from 2011 uh, onwards we had a constitutional change uh, of one article that established that referendums about human rights in Slovenia are not uh, allowed. So now we are uh, kind of uh, asking the um, 
constitutional court waiting for the constitutional court to decide if this referendum would be uh, a break um, against our uh, constitution and we hope that the um, uh, constitutional court will decide that the referendum on human rights uh, in this law will not be uh, possible. Uh, if we don't have the referendum, then we have the law that gives LGBT person uh, complete equality uh, on the field of uh, marriage, uh, partnership and family. Uh, in my opinion, all the violence came uh, from, uh, is coming from uh, kind of approving uh, homophobic ideas. Uh, if you treat someone like uh, less valuable, uh, then you can do uh, also violence on this person that is less valuable uh, than others. In a recent survey made in 2014 and finished this year, we discovered that 50% of respondents, uh, of respondents of um, a quite large survey answered that they were, uh, uh, they experienced homophobic violence in their lives once, at least once, but most of them uh, said that they experience um, uh, vi homophobic violence uh, more times uh, uh, in in lifetime. So 50% of people are responding that they have experienced homophobic violence. For me, uh, is quite alarming. Uh, we also discovered that. Uh, um, I think 17. Uh, percent of the respondents answered that teachers in schools were the one who uh, were um, doing this violence, homophobic violence to them. And that is a number uh, which really surprised us because 10 years ago uh, we did the same survey and the numbers uh, were lower uh, when we uh, were asking about who uh, did the violence, uh, the numbers uh, about teachers being the provokers of, of the violence were lower. So something is happening, in our opinion, in the school uh, educational area, which we have to uh, research and then to tackle and try to improve. Well, when I was talking with the uh, scientists who did the survey, they explained that uh, 10 years ago, uh, people uh, were doing, um, who did coming out, uh, they were not so young. But, uh, now, people who, who do the coming out, they're younger than 10 years ago. Uh, that maybe is uh, one of the reasons uh, why the homophobic violence in school uh, is increasing. Uh, they also explained to me that uh, there is kind of a tolerance uh, of uh, all kinds of violence that is higher uh, in the now modern times than it was, for example, 10 or uh, 20 years ago. Uh, and also, we had some very nasty hate campaign against LGBT human rights, uh, who, in my opinion, uh, which in my opinion also contributed to this, uh, uh, to the increase of the violence in schools. I experienced a lot of things from uh, yelling at me in the street. Uh, I was attacked uh, after a Zagreb Pride uh, a couple of years before I was attacked in the um, um, in, Slo in Slovenia. My um, ex-partner was also attacked. Um, so I experienced um, uh, a lot of uh, how do you say it? Uh, psychological uh, um, violence. Uh, for me, actually. Uh, when the state discriminates you just because of your sexual orientation, that's also a kind of violence. Uh, 
uh, when uh, the system uh, ignores you and your um, your rights and um, when you don't receive what you deserve as a citizen as a human being i treat this also uh, as a violence i experienced uh, a lot of um, bad things and i've learned um, a lot about homophobia uh, in the last 15 years well uh, in uh, in slovenia and we were part of Yugoslavia at that time, uh, homosexuality was decriminalized in the 70s. So at the beginning of the 70s, homosexuality was still a crime in Slovenia. Uh, in 2015, uh, it's 40 years after the decriminalization, we are talking about a law that will give LGBT persons um complete equality including uh, adoption and that's quite a progress so uh, we still have a lot of work to do for example on a transgender area on hiv aids prevention area uh, on the implementation of uh, the new law that uh, is giving us equality uh, but i see a bright future